Welcome to Two Brains, One Bottle, the patron-only podcast from Room 6. On this podcast, we try to figure out life one drink at a time. I'm Josh. I'm Sean. And if you're hearing our voices, it probably means you're a patron. Thank you for your sponsorship, and we hope to not disappoint you. Hey, Sean. Yes, Josh. Did you know that your pupils are the last thing to, to die? Ugh. No, I didn't. They dilate. I didn't know you're... Oh, fuck. And that's how we're starting it. All right. Yes. Bazinga. I like it. It got me. Yeah. I thought you were going into oh. some weird medical fact, and I was like, oh, cool. That would be fun. Nope. Just to... I go, all right. It's like he forgot right out of the how, gate. how these things go. Right out of the gate. I thought you were telling me something important. My bad. Of the two of the two of us, I am a father, and, and I got to leave with the dad joke. You know, you know when a joke becomes a dad joke, right? When a dad tells it? When it becomes apparent. Oh, you fucker. <laughs> All right. I like it. So obviously, if, if you're listening to this, you probably know this already, but um, this is our unfiltered talk about whatever we want for an hour about. Uh, and, and also, you know, enjoy some whiskey and, and whatever and uh, try to figure out some, you know, some things about life. Uh, first off, I wanted to say Happy New Year because when this posts, it's going to be January 3rd. Happy New Year. We made it through another one. Woohoo. 20, 2020 tried to kill us. 2021 and hopefully 2022 2020, will not be a repeat of 2020. 2021 got fucking close. Oh my God. Man, 2020 like yeah. got us in its sights. But 2021 was the bullet that grazed us. So hopefully 2022 is going to be like, hey, here's your here's your console, here's your prize for us, you know, keep sticking around. Yeah, we need to just have a, a mass giveaway of Squid Game type proportions. Like everybody gets a million dollars. You don't have to spend it, but do with it what you want. Pay off your debts, pay off your loans. I'd settle. I'd settle for fifty, fifty thousand. I'd settle for that. Like yeah, I'm like, cool with you adding a couple zeros at the end of the fifty thousand, though. I mean, come on, we're we're talking well, about depending on this is for everyone. On this the, is for everyone. I'm talking like for homeless people get the same stipend, so I want them to get enough to buy oh, a yeah, house. Fair enough. I sorry. You know, you're right. I was thinking. I was thinking about me. Oh, oh man, you're right. Thinking about everybody, I think definitely at least a hundred grand. At least a you know, hundred Benjamins would definitely. Uh, no, no, hundred Benjamins is not a hundred grand, is it? No, it's a thousand dollars. That's yeah. Uh, wow, I went. To school, wow. I went to school in California, so. <laughs> All right. Um. So, first off, starting off with the podcast, um, want to talk about you know little tips and tricks, ten life tips for everyone, and these are just funny little life tips uh, I found online, and a lot of them are like, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, hopefully, we won't. We won't uh, fall down too many rabbit holes like we did last episode, but that was a special holiday two-hour episode. So, before we get into this, though, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing okay, man. I am sitting down. What's I'm it? sitting down with a Maestro de Bell Reposado. Good I'll be enjoying this tequila with a homemade lemon and lime simple syrup. That's right. Just because you may know us from doing our whiskey reviews, and, and there's a whiskey bottle. Oh, oh. Here comes nope, the set. Here comes nope, our, 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 our nope. uh, part, of, part of having a fully synthetic cork. Ah, uh, damn it! I was hoping for that. There we go. But uh, you know, just because you know us from for whiskey reviews doesn't mean we don't also enjoy other things. I had a white Russian with dinner actually. Very nice. Yes, a nice, lovely Kirkland Costco eighty, you know, whatever percent proof vodka white Russian. With hey, I like that mug, man. I like that cup. Yes, this was given to me by a dear friend. Oh, uh, it is a it is a prescription label uh, for whiskey. Prescription RX number VRYSHTFCD. Flam slam. Mm -hmm. Take six to twelve ounces by mouth to relieve stress. Repeat as needed or until the tumbler is empty. Refills. Yes, Doctor Harold Fieldgood, and it expires when empty. I wonder why they went with Harold. Like Dr. Feelgood. You could have gone with like Dr. Vince Feelgood. You could have gone with any name. Harry. I guess Harry Feelgood. Harry Feel Her anyway, I'm Her glad, I'm Her glad you're dog. enjoying it. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying it though. Um, I, for I think I was just looking up whiskey gifts and I came across that. I was like, that's perfect. Um, all right. So 
Number 10 life tip for everyone. And I feel like these are kind of like, these are things uh, like a, a grade schooler would, would tell you or something. Never put your hand into a hole that you can't see into. Oh, absolutely. That being said, women don't count. <laughs> Ooh. You went you really went with that joke. Alrighty then. Oh, you took a you uh, took a big I, risk there, Chief. Yeah, well, Ooh. considering that considering that fifty one percent of my audience on TikTok is, is women, or at least identifies as female on the app. Yeah, I, I did. But uh, yeah, I, I just was like, never put your hand into a hole that you can't see. Yeah, except wait. <laughs> What, 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 what about? Anyway. Nothing. Nothing to add. We'll go high. We'll go high. We'll go, we'll go, uh, uh high I'm going to, I'm going to go high road. You've already sunken down into the gutter. I think you should stay there for a couple more. Oh, you take the high road and I'll take the low road and I'll get a Scotland for ya. That was, I apologize to all Scottish speakers. That was awesome. That was, that was awful. I mean. Man, self, self grandizing. Hey. Here's to you and here's to me, and if ever we should disagree, I'm probably wrong. Oh, that's that's disappointing. May you may I you am... one day feel as good as I look. <laughs> nice. May you one day feel as good as my wife. Are you enjoying your tequila? Oh, that's so fucking good. Oh, your tequila. See, me and tequila oh. are not friends, and you know why. Mm. Oh, that All was right. that um, was the right choice. That was that was the best call I could have made. Well, I'm enjoying a lovely Evan Williams 1783, and as uh, anybody who's seen whiskey reviews in the past for me knows, I'm a big fan of just regular old Evan Williams. Um, the Evan, the bottled and bond, I was kind of like, eh, I don't know if it's worth the extra money, but the 1783, I'm enjoying. It. It's got a little bit of, of uh, character, and this is maybe making me burp though. Sorry, but uh. I'm enjoying it um, a little bit. It's one of those whiskeys that you're like, okay, this this is the thing I like, but they did something to it and they didn't ruin it. Are you getting more cask maturity out of the middle of the palate? A little bit. A little higher oil content, okay. it feels like. A little, a little bit more burn. A um, little bit of a little bit more... Oh, now you're going to make me want to drink again. Yeah, a little bit... Um, a little bit more of orange peel, okay. just a like a little bit. But again, I'm going off memory, mind you. I don't have an Evan Williams regular to, to compare it to. Well, that's your fault. I probably should. That's your fault. I, I, sorry. No, instead I have four mini bottles of peanut butter whiskey. I'll be doing a live stream soon with, just because I'm gonna I'm gonna basically sing covers on, and, and play acoustic and drink, and then it's gonna get funnier and funnier. Hopefully, we'll see. I'm still working on the set list. It's uh, a lot of new songs for me. A lot of modern, you know, what the what the kids are into. Mm. So it's 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 learning. It, it hurts to learn, kind of thing. Have you learned the? Uh, have you learned all six or seven TikTok songs that there are? Dude, there's so many more. Like I, I thought that was it. There's so you're like, oh yeah, I remember seeing a TikTok with that. Oh yeah, I remember seeing a TikTok with that. And then you realize, I know the chorus. <laughs> You know, when, like when you think you know mm -hmm. a song and you're singing it, and then you are, you're on the spot and you have to sing it, and you're like, I don't know this whole song, or I can't really hit that note outside the shower. Right. So, yeah, it's uh, it's also just, it's been so nice to just sit down and learn new cover songs, like learn new music, for like just for a silly, you know, just for giggles. Like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not like for a gig or anything, but it's been so nice to force myself to sit down and I'm not working on rudiments. I'm not working on, you know, being a better singer or better guitarist or whatever. I'm just trying to learn this song. And then I'll work on, you know, making it my own. It's been really nice. Um, and that's a life tip for you for free. It's not on the list. Don't be afraid to push yourself. But also, it's okay to, you know, sit in your comfort zone for a while. You don't have to push yourself to your breaking point every time you go out and do something. But... It is good every once in a while to push yourself to your breaking point. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a, it's right. okay to go to the gym and, and throw out a really highly intense day and bust your body up and you know it's going to hurt. But if you go into it with the, the mindset of I'm doing this because I need to figure out what my capabilities are, 
And am I what my limits am, are. And am I living within those limits? Or am I just wasting that potential? If I can lift this big heavy thing over and over again, why am I not getting better at that and making my body stronger and feeding that part of like, oh, you can do good things and you can do things right. well. Yeah, having a teenager, uh, I find that I'm, I'm using my strength a lot more mm -hmm. than I had to when she was younger. And because lighter. the beatings are uh, getting more severe? No, because the things that she, you know, her luggage gets heavier. I say um, this, I say this knowing his daughter. I don't say this is, you know, anything with malice in it. Oh no, she beats on me. All right, the time. right. She, I have no, I have no worries about her like being pushed around by somebody because she'll just, she won't stand for it. Um, all right, moving on. Life tip number nine of ten, life tips for everyone. GPS isn't always accurate in directions or time estimate. Plan accordingly. Because if, if you're not early, you're late. Always give yourself an extra 20 minutes. I know that seems like a lot of time. It's, it's right. not once the traffic hits. You lose 20 minutes in, in no time flat. Exactly. But if, um, and, and, but uh, if you have to oh, but ahead. if you have to drive somewhere and you know you're taking the freeway out there, give yourself 40 minutes. Easily. Um, the worst is when like you're using GPS, but you're driving and there's no one else in the car and you're like, I, it's not safe for me to be using this right now, but I see an alternate route, <laughs> which is like maybe you know should I take that? But uh, yeah, whenever possible, I try to I look at the actual like route it, ta it takes mm -hmm. me on. And don't just necessarily listen because how many times have you had it be like, you know, take this exit and literally the exit is about 50 feet in front mm -hmm. of you. And you're, you're like, oh crap! And you're, you know, two lanes over or whatever. Right. It's, don't do anything outside of the realm of is this also a safe vehicular maneuver. Right. Well, you, ha you have to, like, you have to turn the radio off. You have to listen to that GPS. When it says... You know, um, take exit, blah, 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 in, you know, two miles, get over. Right. Start, get over, don't, this is not like, I know where I'm going, yeah. Because, uh, um, how is, uh, how was it getting for you, because, you know, you're back in Kansas City, how long did it take you to kind of remember your way around your, where you live? Right, so, there are some bits of town that I remember, like, the back of my hand. And there are some bits of town where I drive by and I go, oh, yeah, I played a gig there. Like, it, the whole environment is so strange and so unusual and so surreal that it it is an instantaneous time flip for me. Like, I start looking around and going, oh, I have seen this before. Like, it's just, it's coming back, but it's not, but right. it's... It's like uh, it's like speaking a language. It's nowhere near fluent. I can't just tell you to take True Step and you'll get on to 79th and hop on over down to Antioch. Like it doesn't. My brain doesn't work that way yet here. Right. Well, you know, give it a year or two. Right. And also, uh, it'll right. it'll help when I start driving out more and doing more gigs, and that'll that helps me get a, a bigger sense of the city. Now, here's one that I don't know how relevant it is anymore. But uh, number eight, tip, life tips for everyone. Whether on a computer or a game console, save every time something changes. Every mm -hmm. time. Now, computer, definitely. I mean, there are some there are some programs that they kind of auto-save. Like now, uh, Outlook and other email programs, you'll be working on email. And if you let it sit for, you know, 30 seconds, it'll kind of save the draft. But on a computer... A lot of times, how many you probably lost stuff on a computer because you didn't save. Yeah, and crashed. Yeah, and I would say if you're like before you close the computer down every night, save. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna oh, if you're gonna right. walk away for more than an hour, save. And I think just those two will help you out in the long run. For me, because the editing program I use for the, my videos for M6 and well other stuff for this for this even every now and then for no reason it'll just decide nope 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 you can't you can't 
you can't split the film here all of a sudden. You can't, nope. And, and it gets really frustrating. And sometimes it'll just close and pop up an error message. So every single time I do anything in that on a video, every single time, control S, every single time, control S, which means I have to first look the very first time I do a control S, wait, 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 is this the one I want to actually save? Or did I just completely wipe out hours of work because I accidentally forgot to look at, to create a new file? Right. And man, that's happened more than times than I, I care to admit. But uh, fortunately, I'm, I'm getting there. On the computer, the, I mean, on the game console, though, it seems, you know, I think every game pretty much auto saves. Uh, most games do auto save, but it is still a good idea. I've, I've, played a bunch of sports games and when you're grinding away to try and get this in-game currency to buy these player cards so that you can have a stacked roster and be more competitive online i've had that where i've jumped into the into the marketplace to buy a couple players and jump out and try to jump into a game you know updating my roster and all that stuff and the game doesn't like that all the time so you no. need to take a second do like make all your trades, get all of your lineups done, then save, then maybe, mm -hmm. maybe even back out of the game completely and start it back up. Like games today overall are just really fucking buggy. We don't, we do not remember the great times of having a memory card in like a PlayStation one where you saved a game and it was saved and you could just load that file every time. This shit will crash yeah. when you're, when you're least expecting it at the most inopportune Here, times. Here's the history lesson. Well, not a history lesson. Here's a, here's what, what a lot of younger people don't know. If you're listening to this and you know, you know, a switch, maybe you have your a little case to hold all your little switch cartridges. Now picture that, but with S with, with memory cards, that's what you did. You said, Oh, here's this memory card is this game. Right. This memory card is this right. game. Or this memory card is this great run. Like, I was amazing at this game. I'm almost to the end. And this one is, like, when I'm, you know, uh, I have a friend over. <laughs> yeah. Or this is my yeah. friend's. Yeah. This is my friend's and I'm playing on his game. Yeah, you, you could just show up to your friends who have the same console and the same game with your memory card. And boom, start right there. Which is a great way to come in and just tank somebody. Just be like, you know. And as soon as they start playing, like, you son of a bitch. Right. Did you just salt your tequila? Did I salt it? Yeah. He literally just opened up one of those wooden rotating lid salt things, which we have, by the way. It was really weird to see that. I was like, what? when were you in my kitchen? But and he sprinkles some salt into his cup of tequila. Now, what is that? Is that whiskey? This is tequila. This is just uninhibited tequila. This is my mixed drink. I see. Your mixed drink as in it's... Tequila and salt. Tequila and simple syrup. Oh, okay. Well, so you have um, I have a margarita. A... Yeah. Thank you. I was gonna say daiquiri. And I'm like that. No, right. I've got a margarita right. sitting here, and I've got a a nice little chaser of straight tequila. But speaking of alcohol mm -hmm. and drinks, number seven's top or top ten life tip for everyone off the internet is supposedly the best hangover cure is Gatorade plus bacon plus etc. Yep. I, I, I assume they mean separate, not like in you know, a glass. No, it's separate, but yes, that's correct. Um, and I could see that, the fatty grease and, and the, you know, of course, it's cetera for the headache. But Well, the thing you're missing out on is the bacon has protein as well. The, exce the right. excedrin is going to thin out the blood and get it moving through your body faster. Mm -hmm. the, Every night I come home from drinking, oh, sorry. To it's okay. Out. There's caffeine and excedrin as well. So the caffeine is going to help. The fattiness of the bacon, the protein, everything else. And then what was the first item? Gatorade? That's just sugar and water. Yeah, electrolytes. Sugar and water. Electrolytes too, yeah, yeah. And and I, it, it all makes sense, but when you're in, in hungover, it's not always you're always not always thinking that rationally, but um, I'm fortunate that I figured out a long time ago when I come home, pretty much before I like before I'm done for the night drinking, I will start having a Coke. I'll have some water. Now I get home and I'll have a couple of ibuprofen. I'll have you know um, something food wise. Mm -hmm. um, don't my my go to oh, go don't ahead. go to bed hungry. No, it fucks your it, it, it like, fucks your your whole day up the next day. 
That's what, you you definitely drank too much if you went to bed. Exactly. Early. That's what I'm saying. It's like always put something in your stomach just to mm-hmm. yeah. And the, and and generally, if I'm drinking, it's because I've been at a show, so my ears need a little time. Because even when I try using like you know earplugs, mm-hmm. eventually you take them out to talk to somebody or whatever. But uh, I will come home. I'll get a glass of of you know two percent milk, and I'll get some ibuprofen, and I'll make I'll get two frozen waffles, blueberry, and put them in the toaster, and I'll put peanut butter and jelly in between them, make a sandwich, and I'll go sit and watch a little TV and just just like come down, but the TV will be like volume one or two, yes, as low as it could possibly be, and I'll just come down and kind of force my body to be like okay, we're back to semi normal, um, and and I'll still regret it if I over drank, um. I haven't over. I haven't had. I haven't overserved myself in a while, just because. I haven't, I'm 49, I haven't been there. You know, you learn. I haven't been there. That's you're right. That's 100 percent why you haven't overserved yourself because I haven't been pouring your drinks. I am a dangerous. I'm very well, heavy handed when it comes to. Uh, no, 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 no. I mean, at like when I'm out buying my own oh. drinks, it's a lot. It's a lot harder to justify like, fuck it, shots for everybody, right. and you know, there's like seven of you, and you suddenly realize, wait, each shot was how much. Yeah, I did that once. Only once. I was at a band that said, hey, man, before, before the show, you know, we're going to get by D. You want to come? I'm like, yeah, sure. Why not? I'm there to review the show. This is cool. Well, you know, hang out with the band. And I don't know what possessed me, but I bought a, sh- a round of, I bought a round of uh, Goldschlager shots. Ended up drinking three of them myself because two people were like, oh, I, I'm not drinking or I don't want mm. that. And I and it was like eight shots. Man. And it was a... Yeah, it was easy. it was like eighty bucks, man. I have not had gold schlager since I was fourteen, and I was playing wow. playing in a band with forty year olds. And it's just such a you n- almost never see. No, it you never music. see it anymore. But I just it's when I, when I get one, I'm like, yeah, yeah. Let me have some gold schlager yeah. because it it's just it, just it took me straight terrible. to two thousand four. It it takes me always to Christmas. Uh. Eve, Christmas night, I think ringing in Christmas day. So Christmas Eve, drunken nipple fencing in the parking lot in Davis, California, freezing our asses off. But I'm, and I got, I got the touch. I got, yeah. But yeah, a couple of Goldschlagers in winter doesn't affect you. Like you're, you're feeling nice and warm. You know the problem? And that's the problem with feeling warm. That's your body cooling off. I am aware. It's a depressant and it's, I know, it doesn't actually make you feel hotter. Oh, no, it makes you feel hotter. Um, it just doesn't heat your temperature oh, up. Yeah. It cools you off and it's ugh, dangerous, dangerous shit. Yeah. Dangerous shit drinking in the snow. You know what else is dangerous? Number, f- the, ne- the next one on the list. Six. Hey, it's like you read my mind. Get out of hey. here. Number six, number six life tip. What's dangerous is poor punctuation. Commas matter. Let's eat grandma it means a whole other thing than let's eat grandma. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Commas do Unfortunately, and... we're, we're, we're fucked. We're just, we're fucked. We're fucked with language. These kids, these fucking children, they, they're, they've started making up their own goddamn words. They've bastardized the well, language they're... to the point where you don't need punctuation, punctuation because you're supposed to infer inflection. God uh, yeah, damn over text, it. I, I cannot Ugh. tell you how many times, how many times somebody follows me on TikTok and I say, thanks for following. And they respond, you're welcome. Why are you are? I'm like, mother, where's a freaking, it's, come on. But then again, it, it's usually kids. It's usually, you know, uh, undereducated kids that are, that are doing that. And you know what? But I, I always respect somebody who actually, t- like, it's a capital Y. It's the proper spelling of your. There's a exclamation point or a period on the end. You know, it's it's all it's properly done. I I'm the guy that if I'm sending you a text, you know this. My text messages are grammatically correct, and I'll f- sit there and fix it. It could be as simple as saying, "I'll be there." You know, "I'll be there in ten minutes." I'm not gonna say, "I be there 10. <laughs> it, it's just the way I was brought up, I yeah. guess. I absolutely uh, feel the same way. And I feel that when there's uh, when you can put an importance on language because it's how we communicate, whatever language it may be, from ASL to French to English, German, it's, it's, it, it doesn't matter. It's all about having the respect to convey a message effectively so you're not wasting the other person's time. You know? Right. I, I th- 
I think what did it from I think where it came from, number one was just writing papers for school, but also my mother would not l allow me to have you know improper punctuation. But uh, also once I started like trying to promote bands or my music, trying to write you know uh, things because I, I've owned a few businesses in the past, and once you realize hey this I should probably make this sound professional. You really pay attention to how you write things, um, right? Unlike unlike doctors and their prescriptions, as if as if they weren't people that you wish wrote legibly. <laughs> yeah, well, it's only you know, like I don't give a shit if someone's health. giving me a receipt, but if you're giving me a prescription for a pill I have to take, I want to be able to read it. Come on, man. Especially especially if 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 something else that looks really similar to that interacts with my by my diet or my body or, or other medication in a lethal way right yeah, or worse or, or worse than lethal in a way that oh i'm always going to be crapping right yeah you know? <laughs> Tor i mentioned doctor you're yeah, right um the reason i mentioned doctor is number five life tip is your doctor doesn't care what dr oz or dr phil think correct <laughs> like especially dr oz that quack you heard it if you're if you if you have a problem with that just feel free to sign off now because I, man, the lack of medical knowledge in that man. I don't care much for Dr. Oz, but I'll tell you who I do like, and that's Dr. Drew. Oh, yeah. I didn't, you notice I didn't list Dr. Drew. I know. And I, I like it. I like him not just because my brother's name is Drew. Dr. Drew actually seems to, he's, he's take, it's, he's almost apologetic about the fame. Know what I mean? Yep. Um, I just, but but try going to your doctor and saying, well, oh, well, Doctor Oz said, <laughs> or don't, and just respect that your doctor is trained to take on whatever problem you think you're going to throw at them that they haven't seen before. It, no, no, I I meant like try try saying that to him and see what he says. No, what I get I says. get that. I'm just. I know there are a lot of people out there with health phobias and so they don't like going to see doctors. But go see your doctor. And stay off WebMD. And don't doom scroll. WebMD. Oh, I, what's that? You sneeze twice in an hour? Cancer. Right. <laughs> you got a little um, eye twitch? Um, eye cancer. Yeah. Um, number four is actually kind of... It seems germane to you and me. You know, we, we, we've, we've done the music thing. We've really tried hard at the music thing. And now we're doing the music thing because, well, you're, you're trying to make a living at doing the music thing, both making it and teaching yep. it. We're, and I'm trying to turn, I, I've tried to turn the music thing into, I'm supporting the music scene because, quite frankly, I'm done with two in the morning at a bar and I still have to load the gear. Right. Quite frankly, you know. Um, and that, number four, to, life tip for everyone is celebrities got very lucky with their fame. Whatever they're a celebrity for, there's a ton of more talented people just doing their thing in obscurity. And, and if you get the chance to support anyone doing something that you can't do, you should totally support them unless, of course, it hurts people. Right. I challenge you to go out and find the most talented person you can find who has the least amount of followers on social media. Found him talking to him. Oh, that's hey. ridiculous! I have, and I yet, have many, yes, I have many in the in the single digits of followers. Many of them, my <laughs> handful. That's all I need are a handful of friends. For the dozens and dozens. <laughs> uh, that was my rock impression. <laughs> oh man, um, let's talk. Uh, let's talk about Dayton. Okay. Which. Neither one of us have had to do for a little bit, fortunately. In a good way. Number three, life tip for everyone. Think you don't have game. I'm doing air quotes here. Focus on being the best you that you can be and stay open to happiness. The right person will come along when you're not looking and realize who you really are. Now, in your case, the right person kind of came back into your life. Yeah. Yeah, I... Uh, we are friends through mutual friends and 
I was told I was going to love this girl and think she's the best. And I met her and she was talking the about best. she was talking about Drake and they knew it was garbage and they lied to me and I was never going to be happy again. So I shot my shot and I told her that we were going to get married the night I met her. And uh, she thought I was fucking. How old were you? She thought I was fucking crazy. This was five years ago, so twenty six. Okay. Yeah. That's about the right age for that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what I thought too. And uh, <laughs> we went our separate ways, and we had we lived our separate lives. And I had family that got really sick and passed, and then she had family that got really sick and passed. And we've kind of just been on this on this together and taking all the stupid little piddly petty shit that comes along and you gotta brush it off. You can't let it affect you or stick to you or or slow you down. Because there's plen- yeah, there's, honestly, there's plenty oh. of things out there that are, that are gonna try and slow you down. But uh, if just don't let it you got to keep going. Here, here. And, and honestly, um, you have no idea what's going to come your way as a couple or individually. And the, the moment I realized that regardless of how crappy the situation was we were in, we were still, we were talking it out and we were figuring things out mm-hmm. and we were working on a plan. Like, that's the thing is we never go to bed angry. Mm-hmm. We, t- we and we don't hold it in afraid that we're going to upset the other person and that's partly because now we're a couple decades in mm. so you're not going to like you know you're not going to blow up because well I don't like the fact that you blah 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 or that you like hanging out with this person I can't stand that's not even a thing anymore it's like oh I get a night by myself in front of the TV okay have fun right <laughs> you know right. you know um, or, or like she's there was a time where me going out at night, it was almost I was asking permission for, you know, I was like, hey, I want to go to this thing, um, but, you know, I'll be home by this time. And now she knows. Like, like she knows. I just don't have the, the energy to cheat on her. Like, I just, I'm just tired all the time. But she knows that I, I'm doing this for a reason. I can't say I'm doing this to make lots of money or, you know, like it's, it's a, a living, but... Um, it's happening, you know. Uh, merch is getting sold slowly but surely. Patrons are signing up on Patreon. Thank you, everybody. And more importantly, and, and she knows, like I'm doing this for the scene. Mm-hmm. And as the more the more she hears from me or just from people who come over to be interviewed, how much they appreciate what's going on. And the more I'm like, hey, I got a new subscriber. Like just today, I posted a video today. Got a got a subscriber, and I will take that any day. One subscriber for one one video great because uh, you know there was a long dry spot yeah just post 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 and i'm starting to dial in what i feel like seems to be resonant like i've got a you know when you see my thumbnail mm-hmm. like okay it's a room six video and you know kind of what to expect and I've, I've really kind of standardized but still try to keep it my thing so um i don't where was i going with that i don't know but um stay open to happiness and and honestly, just focus on yourself for now. In terms of making yourself, are you happy with yourself? Right. If you're happy with who you are, guess what? Someone else will be too. And that's, I mean, it happened for me. You know the story. I I, I met my wife dancing in a bar, and she was dancing with her friend, who shall we say is healthy. Nature was inordinately kind to her in certain respects, mm. so she always got the the attention. But something about I had just decided, literally before they walked in to the club where I, I, I had tried dancing with a girl, we danced for a little bit, and then the song ended, and she turned around, proceeded to, you know, walk away or talk to her friends. I had just decided, that's it. I'm done. I've always been the boyfriend after, like, three days, and, and I'm just going to, I'm going to date. I'm going to get a, I'm going to get a little black book. I'm going to just date. I'm going to have a good time. I'm not going to be a jerk. I'm not going to be a misogynistic jerk or anything. But I'm just, I'm not going to worry about trying to find the one. Mm-hmm. And this is coming from me. I'm, you know, I'm divorced. I, I have an ex-wife. 
and we were together for by the time the divorce got officially over it was two years and I was just like you know what I'm just gonna have fun and I stopped looking and then I saw her and then I saw her face and I don't believe her and uh, and that and, and of course within three days I was her boyfriend but it it was different this time obviously because here we are two, you know 21 years later um do you mind if I move on to number two? Feel free. Groovy. Number two. Life tip for everyone. Not used to driving in the snow or rain? Pretend you're taking a crock pot full of soup to a party with no lid on it, and you'll be fine. Just drive like something is going to spill if you're not careful. Fuck that. People are too uh, too liberal with their driving. Put the Put the pot of chili in there. Come on, coward! Send me those photos. <laughs> Post those photos. Let's 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 but get the, that challenge going. The point I want to see you. I want to see rain, you driving so. that fucking chili to grandma's house, not spilling Can't a drop, it. and then just here you go. Did it. Done. Yep. That's right. that's how you should get. See real driving tests. Like that's how you should have to get your license. You can't can't drive oh. in the Midwest until you can drive the chili from one side of town to the other side of the town, and it doesn't spill. And if it spills, I, you got to pay for it, right? It should be not no not even like something that smells good. Oh no, like fucking you just know? a vat of pickled herring. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. And 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 have have it be like um, uh, there's just a towel covering it to keep the smell kind of contained. Oh. But if that if it spills at all, yes. Oh. Um, I I actually I read where somebody like some got in fucking into home the, pickled onions. Blech. Yeah, I, I read somewhere where someone got in to do their t driving test, and the driving teacher got in with a full cup of coffee, no lid, and said, "Okay, here's the deal. I'm gonna tell you what to do. If you don't spill the coffee, you pass." I'm like, "Yes, do that. That will teach Ooh people to drive carefully." Yeah, you're not breaking any speed records, laying speed records that day. I'll tell you what, boy, you're 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 you're, wa you're watching people in front of you. That's for damn sure. You are. So. Huh. And this one is my favorite. This is I, I've actually said this to people it, 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 when it when it seemed like they just needed to hear this. Number one life tip for everyone coming to you from two brains, one bottle. I speak for Sean on this one. <clears throat> Never confuse what you do with who you are. Right now is not forever. This goes for jobs. This goes for you. You know whatever you're learning in school because things will change but who you are is not what you do you're sweeping you're, it's midnight and you're you're mopping a, a, a jack-in-the-box that's not who you are it's what you're doing to get to where you want to be and you know embrace the suck definitely embrace the suck uh what you do is not who you are but what you do for other people says says a hell of a lot about your character. Yes. Now, that being said, what you do is what people will remember. Because you can say all sorts of stuff. But that's that's not the intention here. The intention really is to motivate people to, you know, keep doing what you have to do to get to where you want to, to get to what you want to do. Um, even though my last three days at work have been kicking my butt, I'm doing what I like to do, which is network or I, i'm troubleshooting tech tech and it stuff and um i'm i'm very uh goal oriented when it comes to things like this and, and I, I enjoy playing games where there's a defined like okay here's your next objective go to that there's you know and and i'm not a completionist by any stretch of the means but I'm the guy who's going to get it done versus the guy who's going to follow every step of the rule book and take my sweet ass time because I'm following the rules. I'm the guy that's going to get it done and get it done as fast as I can officially so that because I know at any moment something's going to come up that's going to be different. And um, yeah, and, and I'm doing what I what I believe is I am like I, I how, how I want to say this. I'm who I am now is who I want to be and what I did to get here I 
I just, I, I did what I had to do. And I kept telling myself, this is not who you are. You know? I did 10 years in the food industry mm. from washing dishes at an Italian restaurant and and eating leftover, scraping off the leftover lasagna off a plate because I couldn't afford anything but ramen and peanut butter and jelly to fast food to, you know, I've made your pizzas, I've made your burgers, I've made your tacos. Tacos. Um, but I knew that eventually I was going to finish college. Eventually I was going X, Y, Z. And yeah, that's the hardest thing to... It's something you got to tell yourself every day. Especially when you're in, in, a, in a valley, not a peak. Mm -hmm. you got to remind yourself, right now is not forever. Just focus on what's in front of you. Do, you know, do the work and do whatever the next thing is. And keep in, you know, just remember why you're here, why you're doing what you're doing. And that's my TED Talk. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Wholeheartedly agree. And uh, I would only add, you know, right now is temporary. Tomorrow is another opportunity for it to be a better day than today. Right. Tomorrow may not be guaranteed, but that doesn't mean you can't plan for it and, and try. Hey, would you like to hear some weird facts? Oh, we're not into weird news yet? No, oh, that's no, right. No, that's no. right. Weird facts. Let's do weird facts. Okay. No jingle. Vacuum cleaners were originally horse-drawn. Did you know that? How did they find horses so small? Picture this. Sicily, 1912. It's a, there's a wagon drawn by horses. They pull up to your house. Those bay windows that would open? Feed in hoses through there. It was a gas-powered motor, and you'd vacuum up, you know, what, vacuum, whatever. So whatever, they'd pull up to your window. So if you didn't have... I don't know what they... I guess every every place had a window... I don't know. Um, speaking of, of pulling up, drive throughs were invented by McDonald's to serve the military in Sierra Vista, Arizona. Did you know that? drive through was invented to serve the military? Yeah. I did not know that. Get, well, get this. Back then, it was, they were not allowed to wear their uniforms in public. Like, I, I guess, I think that base was working on some top secret stuff or something. I don't know. But it, it, that's what I read was the they they talked to like the manager at McDonald's just like oh well um what if we cut a hole in the building and make it so you don't have to get out of your car out of your jeep or whatever then you're not wearing the uniform in public oh. I guess it means like actually going among the public okay I thought pop quiz hot I thought, shot. It, oh, I thought In and Out had the first uh, drive through. Um, I don't know, it's just what I saw. Was drive throughs were invented by, by A. McDonald's. Okay. Yeah. Um, pop quiz, hot shot. Shoot the hostage, yes, yes. What do you think is the number one cause of power outages in the U.S.? It's fucking animals hitting the power lines. You're scary with the knowledge. Yes, it's squirrels. Squirrels, yeah. Tunnel, tunnel, tunneling, chewing insulation, yep. and getting electrocuted. Yep. yep, I did know that. Yep. yep. Well, I didn't. I I would have thought it was like um, trees. No, you know, falling branches. No, and stuff. it was. It, some places it's birds. Some places it's squirrels. But it's usually an animal. Right on. Um, hey, you know what time it is? It's time for weird news. It's time for weird news. Weird news. Found some weird news on the internet, and we're telling you. Sorry, weird news. Ah, I just pe pegged my my. <laughs> audio. <laughs> Sorry, earbud users. Um, so, a woman in Sweden who lost her wedding ring found it 16 years later on a carrot in her garden. She lost it on Christmas in 1995, had the kitchen floor pulled up, and it looked all over. It turns out the ring was lost in some compost that eventually went to feed the carrots. Like, what is that? I don't, like, imagine I don't that. buy it. Here's there's a picture. Here's, there's actually here's photograph. Here's picture. what I think happened. I think she was blowing some guy in the garden, lost the ring, and it <laughs> sat there in the dirt. 
And her, and the and her fucking husband finds it. He goes, honey, I found your ring. And she goes, oh, shit. Oh, I haven't seen it since... 1995 right, Christmas. Right. See? It, no, it was it was actually it was literally halfway on this carrot. It like it it definitely it looked like it had grown through the ring. It was really weird, but like do you wear it or do you just keep it? Keep the carrot? I don't know. I'm sure she put it back on. It was in but 16 years. 16 years. So at this point she's either replaced it or her husband has been like whatever. And um. Yeah, like just that. It's such a weird. How thing. long after you lose that wedding ring do you go buy another one? Oops, excuse me. Uh, I actually thought I lost my ring once. I forget where, like down disposal or whatever. And my wife was just like, "Oh, that sucks." Oh, well, all right. Like <laughs> we just moved on, and I found it. But this ring, I it looked. It, it was just a wedding ring. It wasn't like a engagement ring with a big old diamond. Yeah. So you could, you could, you know, it, and it actually looked like a plain old gold band. Um, lost in '95. So, wait, that means that literally found it this year? No. Yeah, 2021. So yeah, um, I would say maybe a year, like for the, say. Uh, a Christmas present or the following anniversary present, you get them a new ring, or you or you show them like, look, I'm married again, kind of right. thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, from Sweden, shall we go to Florida? Oh God damn it, Florida! What'd you do now? Got to finish up with a couple Florida Florida mans. Florida man escapes after stealing candy. Sorry, let me back up. Florida man escapes. After stealing candles from Bath and Body Works and using bear mace on about thirty-five people at a mall. Whoa! Like you, yeah. Talk about escal like that escalated quickly. Like okay, he steals candles, and and first of all, why? Second of all, uh, okay, he steals candles, and then to get away, he bear maces not say the security guards, just ran like just go running around bear bear macing people. What? Thirty-five people is a lot. What? Candle scent drives a man to use bear spray to get it. Is that Gwyneth Bacon and is that Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina? A eh? <laughs> steamed vagina. Steamed vagina. Ugh. That's bacon and whiskey, baby. I'm just like, <laughs> what the fuck? I've I've seen some crazy expensive candles. Now that I am with someone who really likes crazy expensive candles, and right. they're fucking, they're not worth it. Think about well, think about what you're using to cover them up. Like what what smells are you trying to cover up? Does it right. require a forty five dollar candle, or will a little glade insert into the wall for seven ninety nine do the job? How about new <sighs> crazy Florida bastard? Oh man! Um, like nowadays, bat, you know Bath Body Works and and um, right. all those other places. They've got all sanitizer. They got all these other things that are a lot easier to steal than candles right. in a in a glass right. jar. And that was the weird thing. It was like it's heavy and, and candles, plural. Yeah, it's not the easiest thing. To how carry. many how many candles can you how many glass jar candles can you carry? Maybe in a bag. I don't know. But moving on. I mean, you got well. Such here, a, here's the other thing you got to think about. You got to have one hand free for the bear mace. So you got to you got to think yes. about how many candles can you carry in it one arm? It has to arm. be a back. You know, what? backpack maybe. Backpack maybe. But but it was just so weird and and not only that, like is bear mace way stronger than regular mace? I think so. Like how did they know how do they know it was bear mace? That's what I'm saying. It's like if if he's holding it and spraying it at people's faces on camera. Do the cans look different? Like, maybe I mean it's Florida. They've got to know what all yeah. different types of mace look like in Florida. You know where he bought that, right? Not Bath and Body Works. The seventh biggest pyramid in the world, Bass Pro Shops. Oh, man. <laughs> Bear mace! Goddamn Bass Pro Shops. Uh, all right. Um, last one. Finish up with this. Florida man pulls gun. Sorry, already. Florida man pulls a gun in Starbucks drive-thru over forgotten cream cheese with his bagel. 
An employee threat. The employee threatens. By the way, the one he pulled the gun on happened to be the daughter of the police chief. He got the cream cheese, and then he got caught. And what he said, this is the worst excuse I've ever heard for this situation. Oh, he 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 just he grabbed the gun uh, and put it in the air because it was falling out of his pocket. And he he went to grab it and and yeah, why do you have a gun? Driving through a Starbucks drive-thru. Brandishing a firearm. Yep, I don't care how what sort of permit you have to carry. Can't be brandishing yeah. like that. That's that's and the dog, it's a big but, yeah. it's a big gun no no to the responsible I'm gonna, I'm gonna gun guess, owners out there. I'm gonna guess he got the heaviest sentence possible because it was the daughter of the police chief. But imagine that like you're literally threatened with a gun well, because someone forgot the cream the, cheese. It's not even, probably not even her fault. <sighs> Fucking sensitive little snowflakes out there. Can't even handle life without their cream cheese. Right? Ugh. Well, you know, that, and that's one of the things no one tells you about working retail. Is at any moment, you could, you could really catch someone on their worst possible day. Oh, I've had repeat customers that I've genuinely liked and they flip on you on a dime because you were just oh, yeah. customer service garbage to them. Hmm. Unless, or, or, or. Because you don't wear the tie, mm-hmm. meaning the, the manager, mm-hmm. they don't believe what you say, even though you're like, no, my manager literally just told me this. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll get the manager. The manager comes and says the exact verbatim. Oh, all right. And and you're just standing there like, mother, really? Yeah. And then when I was the manager, I, I always loved flipping the script and be like, well, what did they say? Well, they said this. Yeah, that's what I told them to say. You should have believed them. <laughs> you know? So... Oh my gosh, uh, this has been a good one. I liked this one. Any and do you have any thoughts? Actually, I wanted to th- circle back to talking about uh, gaming. What year version of hockey do you play? Uh, the most recent one. I just got it. Cause I tried downloading that because I it came up on the Xbox Game Pass. I was like, hey, maybe I can you know I'll get I'll, I'll get a little you know a little good get good scrub and 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 contact Sean and maybe we can do some online gaming because I've never online game with anybody longer than 30 seconds when I got killed and I think it was Halo. I, I play and, that for like I alternate between hockey baseball and uh, golf with my buddy Austin in Texas and we're I know and, and that's usually what we get into are sports games but yeah hockey the well, NHL 21 I couldn't get past the damn tutorial <laughs> it kept saying, "All right, now do a slap shot," and I'm I'm shooting the puck over and over, and it's like, no, you know, it never liked what I was doing. I don't know what I was doing wrong. Um, I don't think it was 2021. I think I thought you were playing 2020, but it, I was just I gave up, quite frankly. And, and now, um, unfortunately, oh, I got busy with things like this. So, um, so you were going to ask me something about the game? No, I was going to ask you what year oh, you played. Oh, okay, on. okay. Because I, I was going to say, you know, oh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. That's all. I was going to say how I almost, almost played with you. Uh, slap shots work better, by the way, if you skate up into your position, stop your player, then pull back on the right thumb stick, then throw it forward. Because it'll, it'll get you in front of the net, then you can hit your slap shot, and it'll register. The r- problem was it, the shot probably wasn't on net. And if it's not on net, it's not going to count towards getting you into the higher progression. Probably one of those tutorials that you know, like you can try over, over and over and over and over and over and over and suddenly you get it and you never use that thing again. Oh no, you use slap shot all the time. <laughs> slap yeah. shot, wrist shot, uh, snipes, all those are very common. They're the three most common types of shots. And that's why I. Uh, but they also have. There's a whole. You can change the button scheme. You can change that control scheme to uh, less invasive thumbstick controls and change it to just NHL 94 controls, which makes one button pass and one button shoot. Oh, that sounds good. See, it is a lot easier. (laughs) and That's how I got my brother started playing hockey. And so now he's playing all the time and he's playing on the most difficult, he's playing on my difficulty. Ah. Right on. Well, uh, with that, anything else to say to the uh, listeners? Hopefully, hopefully, uh, as you said, this comes out January 3rd. 
Yep. Well, that's a hello from Cali. Um, hello, Gato. I should have soundproofing up in the studio by now. So if I can get that, if I can get that all done and put together, I will get some photos for you to put together for Room Six, and it'll be the Room Six Midwestern chapter. <laughs> nice. It'll, we'll get hats. It'll be it'll be soundproofed. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna put some lights in, and it's already got all of my equipment down there. It's got all my mics and stuff down there. So running this from there would be easy peasy. Right on. I look forward to uh, new and improved. Maybe we could try and... Oh, that'd be fun. We should figure out how to do a live show. Yeah, actually. Um, I want to do... I, I'm, I know it's possible um, to do live streaming with more than one person. Uh, one of us would be like the small window kind of thing. Um, whether it's on TikTok or Facebook or YouTube or something. But yeah, totally. Um, in the meantime... Thank you, dear listeners, for listening. Thank you for your support, both Patreon and Room 6. Really appreciate it. Um, I guess other than that, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Two Brains, One Bottle and Room 6. That was pathetic. I'm going to fade out on that. <laughs> <laughs>